Hi everyone, welcome back for another video from GM Details. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss another. In this video, I'll be having a look at three popular products used to clean dried on bug splatter from the front of my freshly waxed BMW. So most of you regular viewers will have seen the Garage Therapy wax test video from last week where I showed how chemically resistant it was using the core chemicals from their range. But with bug splatter, you'll need something a little bit stronger to deal with the dried on bug guts, which can sometimes be acidic, and if left on too long, could cause some issues with the stain etching through the clear coat. So the quicker you get them off, the better. In previous videos, I've showed that I've had no luck with bug splatter using snow foam. They just don't seem to be able to soften the hemolymph or insect blood enough to be easily removed. So what I'm going to try is three different chemicals which have been widely recommended over the last few months on social media. These are Autoglans Bug Off, Garish Therapy Zero Decon Shampoo at 10 to 1 and Built Humber Surfex HD also at 10 to 1. On the first test I'm not going to rinse down the panel as I want to see how effective each of the products can be on their own merits and I'm not using a pressure washer either just a garden hose as a pressure washer isn't always available to everyone. So the top right will be Autoglans Bug Off and the bottom is Garage Therapy Zero Decon Shampoo at a 10 to 1 dilution. So that's 45 millilitres of shampoo in a 500 millilitre bottle, the rest water. Straight away, Zero Decon gets to work on that blood. You can see it really lifting that away and the Autoglans I've only needed four sprays to cover the area adequately and that's also having an effect on the bugs so we'll leave these to dwell for a few minutes before rinsing off. The first thing you can see is that both have done an excellent job, but the difference in water behaviour between the two sections is a concern. Zero Decon Shampoo has really taken the hydrophobic qualities of the wax away, where Autoglans has left it clean and safe on your last stage of protection. For me personally, I'd be using Autoglans for bug removal over Zero Decon if it's going to mean you have to reapply protection every time you remove these bugs. For some, it simply comes down to cost, as Bug Off is undiluted and will cost considerably more than any diluted product. But for me, if it's not giving me any more work, then that's got to be worth the extra. I'll cover costs a little bit later on in the video. On the other side, I'm rinsing down first, and as you can see, it does absolutely nothing for the bugs but at least it's shown you what the protection is like before I use any of these chemicals. So the top half I'm going to use Autoglans Bug Off again. This time it'll obviously dilute slightly due to the water that's already on the panel. And below it I'm going to try Built Hamber Surfex HD, which is their degreasing multi all-purpose cleaner at a 10% dilution. So that's roughly a ratio of 9 to 1. Now don't worry if you can't remember dilutions, I'll write them all down for you in the video description for you to reference whenever you need them. So I'm going for a straight double hit here with as close to the same amount of product as I possibly can. The smaller trigger on the bug off dispenses less than the built hamber, so to try and even it up, I've given an extra spray. Bug off again, showing its strength, breaking down the hemolymph, that's the bug guts and blood. And I've got to say, I'm a little disappointed in Surfex, but looks aren't everything. It may well be doing just as well without the show and tell reaction. Let's leave them both to dwell for a few moments and see what happens on the rinse off. To be honest, I wasn't expecting that amount of cleaning power from Surfex with it showing no reaction. The Autoglans has worked very well too with just the one very large insect body glued onto the paint. 
that will require further soaking. You could soak a makeup pad in the solution and place it over the area. That would at least concentrate the product in the area you want to control. I definitely wouldn't advise using those mesh insect mitts and shampoo at this stage as the skeletal remains could certainly cause micro scratches and possibly fading the paint. Let's try another hit of Surfex again. That hasn't dislodged it either, but take a look at the water behaviour from both products. It still haven't affected the alpha wax, which was applied last week. Let's try another hit with the Autoglans Bug Off, and this time there may be a need to agitate it, so I'm using a soft tipped brush, and I'm only using the top bristles to try and gently persuade the dead inside body away from the bumper. This certainly had the desired effect, but working in such a strong chemical, will it have made a difference to the wax underneath? And it certainly looks like it has indeed. So the trade-off has been done. By agitating the powerful chemical, I've removed the hydrophobic properties of the wax, reducing its visual appearance. But as I see it, I had three choices. Spray, bug off on, then snow foam on top for a longer dwell, and ultimately safer for the wax protection. That's my normal procedure, but didn't do it this time as I wanted to test out three different products. 2. Keep spraying and rinsing until you get at least every insect body off the car. It uses more product and it takes up a vast amount of time. Or number 3. Agitate and sacrifice the wax, having to reapply a coat of wax after you have dried everything off. Let me know in the comments what your method would have been in this instance. For this last test, I'm going to rinse any loose debris away, then come straight back in with Garage Therapy Zero Decon Shampoo again, at, remember it's the 10 to 1 dilution, just to see if the dramatic wax removing effect it had earlier, whether it shows up on this section. This little area has a fly body on the chrome and smaller traces of blood below. I'm not going to agitate this section, but seeing as there is a little water already on the panel, maybe it'll dilute it enough that it'll remove the bugs, but also be kinder to the wax underneath. Okay, so there wasn't a great deal of cleaning to be done there, but it was more to see if it would remove the hydrophobic properties of the wax, and I have to say I still think Zero Decon Shampoo isn't the most suitable product to be used for bug removal, not at this dilution anyway on a waxed car, as it definitely has had an effect on the area it was sprayed on once again. Maybe less of a wipeout like before, but it certainly has had an effect as I'll try and demonstrate on this before and after. So I set out in this video to find out which may be the best way forward for bug removal and I was still convinced that the dedicated product for the job was the best way, until I had a look at the costs. Out of our three products, let's start with the dedicated product Autoglans Bug Off. Cost per litre is usually around £10, although right now it's on sale for £7, but I'll compare with the regular price for the sake of the video. Take an average of 30 to 50 millilitres used on a car in summer, the solution will cost you between 30 to 50 pence. If you can catch it on sale, that's roughly between 21 and 35 pence for each use. Not bad at all, I hear you cry. Garage Therapy Zero Decon Shampoo is £18 per litre, and making up a 500 millilitre dilution uh, at 10 to 1 is using 45 millilitres of product, so that's costing as little as 81 pence a bottle. If you're only going to use the same average 50 millilitres at a time, that's only 8 pence a car. Built Hamber Surfex HD Multi Purpose Cleaner is £8.29 a litre. Making a 500ml diluted bottle only 37 pence, and the cost of using 50ml is an incredible 
three pence. Well there you have it viewers, the best consumer advice all wrapped up in a 10 minute video. Which one will you be using in future? Let me know in the comments. It'll be Surfex HD for me, not just on price, but it had demonstrated excellent cleaning abilities for bug removal and also the main decision for me was it was wax safe on the existing wax coating in this test. Just a reminder that these tests are not lab tests and results may vary in different areas of the country with water hardness and temperature etc. So whatever you do with this information from this video is entirely up to you. I hope you have enjoyed the video. I'll see you all very soon. Cheerio bye.